Hey guys, welcome to this good work Rod So Finds. It's episode 70. Um, yep, yesterday 70. you and I went to Apple Fest and Goodwill. Because mm -hmm. you guys, you know me, I... She she likes to go to Apple Fest. It's a tradition it's to her, me. It's her tradition, and just because we are in this apartment, and she's no longer in mm -hmm. her mom's house, does not mean that that tradition is going to end. Nope. So. It's going to keep going for generations to come. Well, so. for our generation. And... Goodwill, I had to donate some stuff. Yeah. So yeah. let's start with our Apple Fest uh, finds. So I think we'll start off with this. You Wait. found. I found this. This is for me. Mm hmm I tested it out just a couple minutes ago, and and she at first was like, uh, it's, we don't really need that. But it's, I was it's, telling you, I had the PC version as well. Yeah, she has a PC version, but I kind of like this version just because it's like old school old school technology but it's not that mm -hmm. old it's like 10 years old at this point but Frogger. for a actual dollar arcade. and if you start it up right mm -hmm. so which it is now on and hit sound mm -hmm. hit start so you hit start it does play yeah so and it does play music so mm -hmm. um it's full functional i tried it out joystick moves joystick's a little loose but it does work Completely. I mean, it's perfectly fine. And, as you see, a dollar. So, uh, definitely did not want to pass that one up. Mm -hmm. and Next then, thing we found for a dollar was a Dark Ray 10. Mm -hmm. For a dollar as well. Okay. It looks like something from Diamond and Pearl. It does look like the Diamond and Pearl series. Because there is a Dialga and Palkia on the sides. Actually, I think it is. If I remember right, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing these. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, if you guys, if any of you out there know for a fact, let us know. Mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you this much that the tin is from 2008. So, mm -hmm. uh, might have been platinum as well. Yeah. So, and okay, I next. got it because, who knows, this will help us store our Pokemon cards in there. Yeah. So why not? So, right. I also found this little, uh, small Boo Plush. Which was, I think it was like 50 cents or 25 cents. But, um, it, was, it was some. Yeah. Boo is one of my favorite uh, dogs on the internet. And I love the social media. So She is a social media bug. She really is. <laughs> yes, I am. I, on the other hand, am not. I, I, I tend not to use social media. You, you want to see my social media? There it is. I'm not going to show it off. Okay, well, it's an Xbox. <laughs> well, you do use it once in a while. I use my Xbox. I use my computer. So Once in a while. That, that's my social media. But it is made by Gund, so it is an Easter boo. Uh, next is this tight uh, beanie mouse, which is holding a little reef. Little thought, itty bitty reef. I thought it would be kind of cute uh, to get for Christmas time. But, um... Its name is Garland's. It was f 25 cents, I believe. But um, Next, I also found this Ben 10 figure. I believe the name is Cannonball. I don't remember for sure, but I remember it's from Season 2 or Season 3. It is from something. Yeah. That was a quarter as well. Uh, next is this Gans uh, Webkin's uh, Reindeer Keychain. There's a little code and everything. Uh, this was 25 cents as well. Um, by the way, can you explain where these came from? Okay, so we both played an arcade game. There wasn't anything interesting there, unfortunately. There wasn't anything interesting. It wasn't an arcade game. Uh, it was one of the games at Apple Fest mm -hmm. uh, where you shoot a cork out of a gun at a plastic cup that had a mm -hmm. number inside of it. Depending on the number, decided on the prize. We both got one... Mm -hmm. This is what Amber got. was a little frog. I ended up getting a pink alien. Mm -hmm. So, Both different companies, by the way. Both completely different companies, yeah. So this one's Haynes. This one is Classic Toy, toy Company. Classic Toy uh, Company. Um, next, I also found this Perry the Platypus uh, plush from Phoenix and Ferb. Uh, there was a different one without his hat or whatnot. Yeah, it was just casual Perry. But except that one was a little more beat up and whatnot. I believe, but this one was, uh, I mean, the legs are a little floppy, don't get me wrong, but, it floppy. yeah, but it'll just meet, and need some minor kind of cleaning. Uh, it is Disney website, uh, 
plush. So it looks like one of those plushes you order online and you wait for the mail or whatnot. Um, that was two dollars. Next, I found the Target dog, which honestly I didn't expect to find. I mean, I was you know, hoping to find one without the sweater, but the one with the sweater is good enough. Um, this was four dollars. Really, really cute. Of course, there's a little Target and a logo. Nice yeah. tush tag. Uh, next is this stitch plush. Yeah, the tag is kind of worn out uh, right here, but I'll cut it off. But uh, it is a Walt Disney World stitch. And let's see. Does it say what year? 2000 maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah. Alright. Want to move on with Goodwill? Uh, sure. Give me a minute here. Okay, I'll start off with the first one. First, we found this Coles Cares Simba. You guys are probably, oh my gosh, this is like literally the third one you found. <laughs> yeah, it's the third one I found in a row, so why not? Um, this one doesn't have its tag, but it was $1.99. There it's Cole Care, Coles Cares Disney. Figured might as well pick it up. Next is this bag of figurines, which was also $1.99. Help me open that. Yes, I can help you open that. I also just set a new high score of 520. Oh, did you? Yep. Awesome. Sorry, guys. You can tell I'm kind of addicted to the thing. Yeah. Um, and here is... Okay, that's mm -hmm. stuck. What, the Simba? The finger puppet, yeah. Okay, can you get that untangled, please? But there is a Simba finger puppet. I don't know, it looked like a Pez uh, to me at first, but it doesn't look like one. I mean, it looks very close to one, but... Okay. There is Squirt from Finding Nemo. It lights up. And... We think it's a Squirt gun, is what we think it is. Yeah, because there is a hole right at its mouth. It looks like one of those toys you put in the water, you squirt out water. There's also some Disney uh, uh, promotion figurines as well. That one's 1943. Mm-hmm. And this is 100 Years of Magic. Uh, this guy's name is Jose... I, I can't say the name right. It's right there. Turn around for me. Uh, Jose... Current go or whatever. I know he's from the Three Caballeros. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, we have Ariel. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, 1989. Also from the 100 Years of Magic. Okay, and, and then we actually have a duplicate, which is Sneezy from 1937. Mm-hmm. Which is obviously Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. Yeah. And... Next, we have... Some kind of dirt bike. It's like trials or something like that. Yeah. Also, we did find another bag for $1.99. Oh, okay. So, you push down on the bike. Uh -huh. There you go. Backwards. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, next is this bag. Help me. Thank you. And in this bag, we have found another... We're in a figure. We're trying to decide what we're going to do with the duplicates in here. These were in the other bag here. Oh, like that. that one is from Hey Arnold. This one's Hey Arnold, which might be the two that are in there. Arnold's grandpa. So, and then there's, and there's Doug. Doug. Oh my gosh, so many childhood memories. <laughs> yep. And there's also the villain from Kim Possible, which basically you pull this down the top and it spins around. Yeah, I'll give a demo. Mm -hmm. Also, Jimmy Neutron, which... Good hat. This particular toy had a lot more pieces that go with it. I believe it was Burger King. Yeah, it's Burger King. You can barely see it at the bottom. I used to have one. Also, we have found Bernard, which is from 1977, from the 100 Years of Magic in Walt Disney World. I know they've done this twice. 
also. So, I just noticed. Mm -hmm. Look at his eyes. Oh my gosh. So uh, somebody, so, somebody who made this kind of derped up on his eyes. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah. we did find Krillin from DBZ, DBZ Kai, or whatnot. Yeah. Um. It was from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Kai, uh, Dragon Ball mm -hmm. Super, some of the movies. So. Yeah. And there's also Lisa, Lisa from, from, from The from Simpsons. Sim I also had a Bubbles figurine. This has to be the 2003 edition because this is not the newer one, I know for sure. Because if it was the newer one, I could have recognized it 2002. easily. Yeah, 2002. Oh, hey, and that's actually a wind up, too. Mm -hmm. Also, this could be Kim, but I could be wrong, but there is a duplicate in there. Not sure who she is. And this guy could be from The Simpsons. I'm not sure, but it does say on the it's back. The Simpsons. Yeah, and it is from Burger King promotion. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out this one here. Also, a glow in the dark Batman figurine, maybe? It looks like uh, it could be a glow-in-the-dark one. Well, he just fell, so... Uh, that or there's supposed to be another piece to it. Yeah, and there's stuff. another duplicate of the one we showed you before. Also, Kirby, which is one of those um, toys that you basically ask it a question and it'll... Let's see if it's cooperative. Is that maybe? Is, is, is the subscribers awesome? Yes. Okay. Kirby, I definitely had that figure somewhere when, uh, in my childhood, but I don't remember which one I had, though. Um, this one, I'm toy not toy sure what that one's from. Sticky and that, I don't know. Yeah, this one I'm not sure as well. The other ones we're not sure what we're going to do with yet. As for those who are wondering about the giveaway for Halloween, we're deciding still. Um, this looks like a figure from G.I. Joe or something like it. Nope, his waist isn't stretchy. No. And that's all the figures in that bag. Next, we found this decorative piece uh, wolf, which was also $1.99. We decided to put this in the living room, which we'll do after the episode. Also got a soap dispenser because apparently we need one for the kitchen. So I figured this would match. Has a beach theme going on with this one, also one ninety nine. And then the last find, which I actually decided to get for the office, which I figured we will use, is this. I think it's a mountain lion or whatnot. I can't. It's some kind of big wild cat. Yeah, but it is one ninety nine. It is a clock. It's the same clock that um, that runs off of batteries like my owl one does. So this will be put into great use. Um, and that is about it. Yep, that's about it, guys. Um, I don't know when the more vlogs will be coming. I'm pretty sure the next one will be my party or whatnot, and my birthday haul will need to wait for a couple days. It just depends. But you and I are going on vacation, but we are not telling just yet until it's official. You will find out when we do the vlog on that one. So. So, we'll see you guys next time.